What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? In this bitch kicking cack, seeing cool. You know what I'm saying? About to sit here and check out this motherfucking video. See how ratchet it's finna be. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's get it. Hear what I have to say. I will talk to you another no, time. No, but you should have said when you had the time and no, said, no, Nene, no. you had the floor. Can you, you shut the I, up, I, bitch? I, I, you I, shut the I, up, bitch. You shut the up, You shut the up. Well, Nene is the only one here, I think, that has met the African prince. That's not true. You you did meet him. That's not true. No? That is not true. I think that King Yip <laughs> tried to put out that I had met him, and that's just simply not true. Okay, well, and, I'll just uh, pull up so the text So let me messages. just explain she to you. She did meet him. No, I did not. You can rude. pull up anything you want to pull up. She was very rude. You can pull up anything said, you want to pull up. Don't bring that nasty bitch around me anymore. I'm not going to talk to you, but if you want to ask me a question and you want me to answer it, then I will answer the question, and I won't be interrupted, or we don't even have to talk about it. How about that? No. I would like to ask you okay. because I thought that we spoke about. Didn't you meet him? Well, in let the me lobby explain to you how it happened, okay. and then you determine whether or not I met him or okay, not. Okay, I can't wait. Yeah. Okay. I was walking out of my hotel in Beverly Hills. You know my hotel. I like to stay yes, at yes. with my girlfriend. A man approached me. It's very dark. It was probably ten at night. He approached me and he said. Uh, King Mother is across the street. King Mother is across the street. I could not understand what he was saying. Okay. He had a very thick accent. I looked at him. I was like, what the hell is he saying? King Mother is across the street. I just kept walking. And I got in my car with my girlfriend and pulled off. Like two minutes later, Kenya called to my phone and she said, why the hell you walk off from my man, girl? I said, what man? And she said, my boyfriend. I said, the guy, and then I, it dawned on me, the guy with the accent kept saying Kimora. And I guess he was saying Kenya Moore is across the street. Ah. And I couldn't understand him. So I got in my car, I didn't say anything, and I pulled off. And she said, he's in a black Ferrari. I said, no, bitch, we're in a black oh. Ferrari. So she didn't even know what he was driving. Okay, so you tell me whether or not I met him, because that wasn't, I can't pick that man it out of the like line. sounds like you ran into him. So if that's what you call meeting her boyfriend, then I must have met him. What she's saying is true. There, that is how she met, but she was so rude as she is with a lot of her fans. She thought it was just You're a fan. With your and fans. she just blew it off like, whatever. oh, who is this that wants to talk You're to me? Sad. Whatever, whatever. And You're he down. said to me later, you know what? She was so nasty and so rude I that I don't so even, nasty don't ever bring so anybody rude. around me like that. So nasty. And that's what happened. So rude. <laughs> so nasty and so rude. Well, she's Telling the truth on so that one. So nasty and <laughs> so rude. I didn't come to your wedding. No. I appreciate that you gave me an invitation. Yeah. But please tell me that you didn't invite Mr. Tow Truck Driver. Walter? Why Are wouldn't you we invite us? Greg likes Walter. Walter had not done anything to us. Him and Kenya weren't engaged. They were not married. So Walter was welcome to my wedding. Did, did you invite Walter? Cordell? Wait, did I hear my husband's name? I heard Cordell's <laughs> name, and I do not want any craziness concerning me and my situation. I invited Portia. She was married to Cordell. And I told her her plus one. Now, whether she was going to bring Cordell or not, I don't know. I heard Cordell's name. I just thought I'd come and see what y'all was talking about. <laughs> see, like, I just thought I'd come and see. Oh, that's a Walter. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Because that she came to the wedding. Child, please. Yeah. Nothing has changed between Walter and, and our friendship. We're still friends. I still speak to him. I still see him socially. And I don't believe that that will change. I know it won't. If she's divorcing Cordell, I ain't got no issue with Cordell. I don't like what he did to her, but if I see yes, Cordell, I'm I will to know speak you, to Cordell. I, I'm Cordell. just curious to I'm know if you had you, invited him, him to the wedding. I, since I, you invited, I invited her. Were, her. You were you there? Nene, were you there? Games. Were you there? I'm not playing it. Yes, were you are. there? Honey, I am Kenya Moore, and you will not dismiss me, nor will I be dismissed, okay? My thing is this. My thing is if this. we're friends. As a grown and woman. No, Nene, stop talking over friend. me. Listen. Nene, I'm not talking over you. I I'm telling you, you this right here. Nene, I want you to understand I want something. you to listen. You're giving me my personal listen, space. Listen. Let me tell you something. No, listen, listen to me. You As a grown Nene, woman, you I make my decisions. No bitch that we any friend that I have will never tell me who I can and cannot and talk I'm to. And I'm not saying you that. I'm saying as a friend, friend girl, You know what? When I get ready to have an event, I'm not going to be thinking about whether Kenya's going to be uncomfortable or not. When I have my event, I'm going to be worried about how fabulous Nene event's going to be. What well, Nene is going to be okay. fabulous, and I'm going to be going Good with night, Kenya. Go, go on, Kenya. Minute. We need you to get something new. I'm so tired of having to get Kenya together, getting on my nerves. Then you need to resolve this now. No, no, Peter. Go on with the way of fabulous this last year. I'm gonna need you to come.
come up with something very new, honey. Gone with the wind, fabulous is clearly gone. And so is Walter. Get you something new, girl. Go to hell, Nene. Hey. In the meantime, we will continue to wait on our very, very, very late guest. <laughs> now, who's huh? late? Kenya, do you see her? Kenya, a while ago, had a problem with these girls being late. Now, here she is late. This is a problem for me. Let's get started. As I'm getting real irritated. <laughs> Clearly, being late is rude and disrespectful. Kenya is truly on my list tonight. Hello. Hey. What we were saying. Hey, everybody. What's that? Hey. Have a seat, honey. Have a seat. You're extremely late. And I'm not extra sure why. I had to pick up Brandon from the what airport. What does that have to do with anything? Was you are late. Hi, Nene. Hey, bitch. You look fabulous. You don't, okay? I so always do love. You want to look fabulous and really don't. Okay, whatever. Nene is on 10, and I'm going to need her to bring it back down to a two or three. Nene, I'm No, I, it doesn't matter. Love. You can also leave. I am very irritated right now. I'm here. Did you text I'm me? I'm here. Did you tell me? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I apologize for not texting well, you. That's late. what you, you should know. do. I, that's because when I'm late, I text you. You're right. You, you do. Oh, you okay, do. let's have respect on both mother You got it. Nene is getting very turned up, like she's about to fight somebody. But trust me, Nene has better sense than that. That last season at the reunion, you and Nene talked about giving $20,000 to the Detroit schools. Detroit Public Schools Foundation. Let's put our differences aside for a day of charity. I'm gonna write a twenty thousand dollar check, and I'd like I to see be, you match I'll, me. I'll, we'll write it together. You sent a check. I gave them twenty thousand dollars, and they have acknowledged the receipt of that. Did you ever give the check? No. Will you give the check when I get ready? When you get ready. Yes. Okay. And see, that's what really gets under my skin. You talk about being this rich bitch, you have all these jobs, you're on Broadway, you have all this extra money more than anybody else sitting on this stage. Why wouldn't you just cut the kids a check? This is not about me and you. This is about the kids in Detroit that need an education. And I just think that speaks to your character because you're making this about some bull crap than really about what it was supposed to be about, which was charity. She has no excuse. And I don't think she'll ever write the check because if she was going to, she would have. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. I feel like Kenya is trying to make a mockery out of it. Who does a charity donation and place their check on social media? It's just ridiculous. The bet was that we would donate together. I'm not a rich bitch. I'm very poor and I have no jobs. <laughs> and uh, I don't mind donating to charity, but I'm not going to make a mockery out of charity. But the bet the deal was is, you write the check, the deal. I write the check. Here's so the I wrote deal. the check and you didn't write this the check. I write the check. Don't when I get lie. ready to write, this Stop is the deal. Lying. I'm very poor. She when was, I how far, when I get up my money together, the same way she made a mockery of donating, putting a check on. To, I'm very poor. When I scratch up my stupid. twenty thousand dollars, I will donate when I get ready. I don't have many jobs, honey. So when I you're, scratch you're, it up, you're rotten that's to when your I core. do, and I will put my check on Twitter when I get through. Cause this rich bitch is poor. <laughs> And that's all you have, Nene. A little bit of money I got. I'm about. poor. Then if you had I'm the money, the kids need the got money. No write the job, check. honey. And we always fight for the kids. It's just disgusting that we would even sit here and be talking about. It. Okay, it's I really, disgusting. I get it. I'm so sorry, Such girl. Such a disgusting. I get it. I get it. Person. You are right. You like not take any show. responsibility in flirting with her husband? I already, I had already yeah, apologized to her last year about that. I took full responsibility on well, it. If you but took full responsibility for it, then why do you act like? Oh my Nene gosh, was, was flirting so with Peter. Nene, Girl, she I was have flirting never with flirted Apollo. with Peter. Now don't People go there. People accuse you of flirting well, with him. Well, I don't give a damn what they accuse me with. of. I have never Girl, flirted with Peter. Girl, everybody said you flirted with I Peter. If you don't, don't want to own it, that's fine. If you don't want to own it, that's fine. What I'm saying is the same point you're making to me about showing your character is the same point I'm making to you. Oh, now you want to talk? No, oh yeah, I'm talking when I get ready. The mute wants to talk. The mute wants to talk now. I talk when I get ready. Yes, you do. No, we're not going to cross my lines. Yes, all day. Because my husband's here and I'm married, okay? Yes, you do. 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 Y
Yes, now, you I have are never for the second flirted time. with Peter. That's Don't go like, there. Don't go there. Yeah, people ex said Peter, it. Ex-Peter. Ex-Peter. Okay? He's sitting right Don't there. Do Don't, do Don't, Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that in front of my husband. Don't do that. I can't project that loud. Hold on. Hold on. Did I say you wanted to tell you something? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I said You're not going to disrespect me and my husband. I just did. I have never, I never ever flirted. Ever. Peter. It was innocent, but it definitely It ain't fing innocent, bitch. This ain't Phaedra. Don't call me out my This ain't Phaedra. Don't call me You ain't going to disrespect me and my husband. I know that. This ain't Phaedra. This ain't Phaedra. You ain't going to disrespect our marriage now. You can disrespect her and Apollo. If I flirted with him, I would own it, bitch. Believe Yes, bitch, that. I know you would. Okay. Believe Well, even if she it. did, I won. Yeah, Sit back, exactly. Babe. Thank I you. Won. I'm glad you think you I have a won. prize. <laughs> he has a prize, bitch. Marlo, this is your room and you get... Come on, Cynthia. I, I can't hear you. Let me just hear what I got to say. Hear what I have to say. I will talk to you another time. No, but you should have said when you had the time to say it, Nene. You had the floor. Can you shut the up, bitch? You shut the about Nene's stupid ass. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Her. I got her. No. You better not ever. Hey, I got her. Hey. Mother hey. Punch hey. your mother hey. thing at me, bitch. Right. Come on, you walk with me. Come on. Come on. I got her. No, I ain't going nowhere. I'm about to I got you. I got her. This crazy. Crazy ass bitch. And it's all Nene's fault. Sitting up here trying to make oh, Cynthia look bad. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Hey, no, don't. Let me tell you something. Hey. Let me tell you something. And I'm out of here. I'm talking. I'm talking to them. I'm talking to the girl. This mother. She's trying to cover me. She got the wrong bitch. She had the wrong mother. She better go on. I'm listen. All I'm trying to do is help that damn stupid ass video. Whatever the it is. Hell no, my nigga. Oh man, it's always something with them. Uh, uh, uh. She began loud with a motherfucker. Yeah, she began loud as shit. But yeah, that Kenya bra, whatever the fuck, I can't stand her for some for some reason. She's like hella annoying, you know what I mean? It could just be me, but she's just hella motherfucking annoying, you know what I'm saying? But uh, drop me a motherfucking comment, let me know what the fuck you think.